600 young girls drawn from poorest of poor communities have been given free sanitary pads for the next two months to help take care of their menstrual health and prevent them from infections instead using dirty clothes, cotton wool or tissues as part during the period. Eight Healthcare Foundation Nigeria visited a community in Makodi, local government area with prevalence of teenage pregnancy, sexual assault, teenage prostitution among others. HF coordinator Steve Aborishade, who said the exercise is in collaboration with other development partners to mark this year 2024. Key challenges young girls have now is access to sanitary parts. Menstruation is a big deal. They have very little knowledge about it. They have very little awareness about what to do and what not to do. That is why we came to this community. We are asking government, you know, to look at how they can support the well-being of our young girls by investing in their menstrual um, health, which is very key. And that's the effort that AHF have come here today. And we are demonstrating what we are asking by donating sanitary products to all the participants here. This event is taking place in three states of Nigeria. It's taking place in Abuja right now, and it's taking place in Akwaibom. This I will take to the floor of the house they no need to let the government know that they can uh, come into uh, providing these basic needs for uh, uh, girls. It's very, very important because uh, most of the other means they use to take care of themselves when they have periods, you know, very bad. You know, they can bring a lot of uh, complications, infections and all of that. If government can... Um, I came to trying to provide this basic need. I think it will help. Some of the stakeholders caution the young girls to maintain a healthy lifestyle and stay away from what could undermine their health by having access to right information and poor and proper hygiene. You have to take good care of yourselves. I'm sure you know what uh, menstrual health is at this level. It's expected that you will know how to take care of yourselves. You advise your friends and the people coming behind you. Health, you have to be intentional about it. That your hygiene or your knowledge about your menstrual health determines how well you live your life. And some of the beneficiaries commended AHF Nigeria for the donation and the sensitization as very useful and rewarding. We need government, we are calling on the government to help us provide free sanitary pads for the, for, the, for the girls to help them, especially during their menstrual time. Because as I said, the economy is hard. Most of, them, most of them cannot provide this thing for themselves. But if the government can help to provide this, it will help to at least reduce the level of STDs, like the, the level of infection. Because most of these, they use some things that are not supposed to be used because they don't have money to afford this part. But if this part has been made available, it will help. Today, I learned a lot of things, how to use menstrual pad, how to insert it, how to put it in the pants while trying to wear it.